Hi, my name is Dave and my wife and I lead the Vineyard Church in the city. I'm doing today's prayer reflection outside of our airing cupboard. Here it is. And the reason I am is because yesterday we had a plumber come and he gave us some bad news about our heating system. And I was thinking about those sorts of places we might receive some information that we wish wasn't true. It could be a doctor's office, it might be at the MOT centre, it could be in a school report, or it could be outside our airing cupboard. And that's because our reflections on the start of Revelation 3, the message to the church in Sardis, which says this, I know all the things that you do and that you have a reputation for being alive, but you are dead. They get a shocking diagnosis about what's going on with them. But there is also the treatment. Go back to what you heard and believed at first. Hold to it firmly. Repent and turn to me again. And the thing about these bad news in is important to know because unless we know we don't know what to do about it so you don't know to start the medicine or you don't know to get the repair done if you don't know there's a problem and so in this message to the church God's mercy is being shown in both things he's telling them there's a problem and he's telling them what to do about it it reminds me of the line in amazing grace it was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fear relieved so today as we reflect, I want us to think about things that may look on the outside like they're all good, but actually they are not bringing us life. We are told that life comes through our connection to Jesus as a branch is connected to the vine. And so we may do all sorts of things that are good, but are they connecting us to God? So I want to pray from Psalm 139, uh, a, a prayer um, that is about asking God to help us deal with stuff that might be a problem and, and, and move forward. It says this, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Amen.